What's good? It's Jigozi. It's Saturday, March 21st, 2020. The day with a life lesson number 28. Here we got 64 numerology, 46 numerology, virus 46, kill 44, 64. Today's going to be the date of celebrity murders, coronavirus deaths, and the media. And I'm only saying that because of these numbers, 64, 44, 28. The word kill has gematria of all of those. So this is just how this works. They match the gematria with the date numerology. So do you see how we get four or three overlaps? Kill equals 44. Use an alphabetical order. K is the 11th letter. I is the 9th and so on. You add those all 44. Reversing where A is 26, Z is 1. You add them, you get 64. And then reducing each letter to a single digit and summing together, you get 28. So we get these three numbers here, and then today is 44, 64, 28 life lesson number as well. 3 plus 21 plus 2 plus 0 plus 2 plus 0, that equals 28. 44 numerology, 64 numerology, ritual 81, 81st day of the year, Kobe Bean Bryant 81. But again, it's just more, yeah, U.S. two largest cities shift testing strategy. Health officials in New York City and Los Angeles are recommending doctors avoid coronavirus testing except when result would significantly change treatment. And I really like this, personally, <laughs> from someone who is not going to get tested, is not going to jump into all this coronavirus bullshit. I'm glad. I'm glad that there's limited testing kits. I'm glad that testing has to be reserved for those that need it. Perfect. Keep me far away from this bullshit propaganda, this, this ritual, this play. I don't give a fuck about it. I'll keep exposing it. I'll keep letting y'all know what these people are doing, but I don't want to get tested. I'm not getting a vaccine, obviously. You know what I mean? So it's fine. This is this is, this is good news to me. Of course, completely completely bullshit fake news propaganda. For all I know, they have enough testing kits for everyone, and it'll be mandated testing. I mean, for all I know, who knows? But look at this 12:46 update time. What did I say? Looking at this 46 date numerology, I said virus equals 46. That was the hone, the word I honed in on. Because that is the theme of what's going on right now. Virus 46. Reverse in alphabetical order. So do you see how they have 46 right here inside this fake news propaganda? So we have, is delivery dangerous? Can I go outside? It's just more fear porn. Of course you can go outside. I went outside yesterday. I live in a major city. Country of Georgia declares nationwide state of emergency. Georgia equals 44. You see how four minutes ago, the country of Georgia declares a nationwide state emergency. Georgia equals 44 and 37 like virus. So they also have the virus numbers inside this propaganda. Georgia. How did I know that? Because I know that's one of the states that sums to 44. Georgia also happens to be a country named by the same exact gang. Here's a, here's a, Fact, a fun fact for you. The country of Georgia, the state of Georgia, they run by the same exact government, the same exact gang. There's zero difference between the two places in terms of who they're ruled by and the agenda. Former CDC director, this is what comes next. What does Russia, population 146 million, have fewer? Why does Russia, population 146 million, have fewer coronavirus cases than Luxembourg? Because it's fake news property and it's a ritual. This it's all numerical and well first off Luxembourg's a smaller area I mean this is bullshit I mean even without the propaganda let's say this is all 100% factual Luxembourg's a smaller country they're comparing a very large country to a very small one and they're saying hey dumb idiot did you know that a very small country you can have more people contracting a virus because they're closer together we're writing this see this long piece of propaganda about something extremely obvious, they have to write all this, all this, to answer such an obvious question. What does that tell you? That means they're not trying to answer this question. It is bullshit propaganda. It is an agenda. There's a reason Vladimir Putin's here, all by the numbers. He's coming out with a specific amount of days from his birthday, etc. I mean, it's the same shit. Look at this. And then you just scroll down and you see the same numbers. Russia's early response measures, such as shutting down its 2,600-mile border with China as early as January 30th and setting up quarantine zones 
may have contributed to the delay of a phone blown air break, some experts say. No, it is bullshit propaganda. This is more nonsense letting you believe and have faith in all the quarantining and the social distancing. I wonder what that even equals, social distance and social distancing. It's just dumb stuff. Social distance. Okay, but they call it social distancing. 102, 69, 159, Scottish right. So nothing that's popping out, you know what I mean? So maybe there's another riddle behind it or whatnot. I just kind of wanted to see. But you see how they're saying 2,600-mile border with China? Why is Russia's border with China 2,600 miles? Because China equals 26. That's where virus also has this numerology. Virus 26, China 26. Shutting down a 2,600-mile border. Don't forget that pandemic equals 38. Two minute, 38 second video. Former CDC director, there's a long war ahead and our COVID-19 response must adapt. And that's what I've been saying too. I mean, people think that it's going to take two weeks or a month. I, I don't see how that's possible. I mean, it could because these people will believe anything. The CDC just has to say, oh, it's been it's been long enough. There's no way COVID-19 can affect anyone anymore. And people will just believe it and go outside. So, you know, if you're planning on this not happening, you know, going back to work in like a couple weeks, I don't think so, man. Maybe. But even then, why should it? Why should the CDC come out and say, oh, this particular day, it's all over. And then everyone goes back to work. Restaurants start to open again. Obviously, no one's getting to get sicker because it's all agenda. Or they even get sicker because they're lying to them. You know what I mean? It's just like, why, like, why are you going to wait for the CDC to tell you what to do? So I'm just saying this should go along maybe even the whole 18 months, as the simulation said. But updated at 933, 33 number for the Freemasons. Corona equals 33. Just seeing some propaganda updated at 933. You know, what's new? Jesus Christ equals 146. There's something more. There's something more central to this. But let's see what Luxembourg equals. Make sure I'm spelling it correctly. I think I did. Equals 48, 51. So we get the big quarantine number as well here in Luxembourg. Can I go to the grocery store? Your social distancing questions answered. Why do you need this bullshit propping in to answer your questions? I'll answer them for you. Yes, you can do anything you want. Again, using hand sanitizer all day and avoiding this shit, it's not going to help you. I mean, how is it going to help you? The virus is either going to go and come back. I mean, it's a virus. So if it's, let's we'll all assume this is a real virus, real going on, acting like a virus is supposed to act. It's going to, you know, go, go, come back in like a mutated form or whatever. I mean, you can't, you're eventually going to get it. And that's just kind of my whole thing. If, if you're going to get it or you're not, I mean, I don't know. I'm just, again, going off assumptions based on what I can. But hiding it, avoiding it. Social distancing is not going to fucking help you. If anything, it's probably going to make you sicker in the long run. It's just prolonging the inevitable. It's like, you know, getting the chicken pox when you're 80 instead of getting it when you're 5. That's essentially what they want you to do. That's what they want you to use on a hand sanitizer to avoid it. So if there is anything and you get it, it, you might, you might, it might be worse. You might get the stronger version. You know, what if you want this weaker one? You know, I, I'm thinking a lot of these things. Because I just never th think hand sanitizer extra sanitation all this shit then how's your immune system supposed to work how's it supposed to do its job by getting you sick and fighting something there's something wrong with that you know what i mean you saw zach was very sick he sweated it out no not look at him he's doing great going out spreading the word you know making the cause go further he was just in seattle spreading the shit telling everyone about the bill and melinda gates foundation and their event 201 so you know, what if that's the key is to get this shit and sweat it out before the next phase? <laughs> Trust me, I've been I've been going. I've been I've been I have not changed my life. I've been going out. I've been going outside, biking, going to the store. Not wa I don't wash my hands all the time. Like they've been saying. I mean, I, I don't give a shit about any of this. I've been acting like my normal self. I'm I'm still not sick. I might be asymptomatic. And, and how convenient is that? Oh, we can't test for it, and most people are asymptomatic. Really? How convenient is that for a contrived virus? And, you know, when they say shit like that, it helps me. It helps me really think, is this really thing even going on? How could it? It's so convenient. Everyone's asymptomatic, and you can't test from it. I think it's a bunch of bullshit. The people who are sick now, again, how do you know they don't have some other virus? Coronavirus is not a new thing. This has been around. Viruses have been around. People have been sick every single year. 
You know, I'm sure we all have that friend now. Or oh, I have the sniffles. I think I might have coronavirus. I'm like, dude, are you retarded? You could have had the sniffles last year. You wouldn't have said this shit. Oh, but now, because of the propaganda, you could have coronavirus? No, you probably don't. You probably have the sniffles like you always would have had. Freemason equals 158. Reverse in alphabetical order. We have the some propaganda with the 158. I guess I just talked over it. Here, here. Updated at 1058. Masonry 39. 2 minute 39 second video. 239 to 50 second prime. I guess this video is more of a rant than anything. But it doesn't matter. It's just bullshit. That's all I can say with everything here. How grocery stores restock shelves in a pandemic. Because everyone's buying everything left and right. For no reason. And I'm sure most of this shit, I'm guarantee you so much of this food is going to go to waste. All this food people are buying, you know, taking off the shelves, the stuff that doesn't, that stuff that spoils, I'm sure a lot of that's going to go to waste. Because people aren't going to eat, you know, either they're not going to eat it that quickly or whatever. How NASA protects astronauts from illness in space, I mean, come on. What, what, where are we right now? We're on a date with 44 numerology, space equals 44, 28 life lesson numbers, space equals 28. Every single month. On these kill dates, you also get the space propping in the space 44, 28. It's to the point now where I really don't care to say it anymore at the beginning of the video. Does it matter? I said it every single time. Space propping in the, and this was 44 numerology. This is the pattern I teach everybody. People who aren't even into this. Why do I teach them this pattern? Because you would eventually see it. You just got to think, everyone I've taught this pattern to, even if they're completely skeptical, I've, it's proven itself again. You know what I'm saying? That's why I teach them this pattern. I don't have to be there for them. We've got this 1021 update time, <laughs> the big coronavirus number. I mean, this is bullshit. This is contrived propaganda. Coronavirus outbreak equals 121. Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation equals 121. Big number on this whole revelation ritual. Revelation equals one two one, and I've even said the space program NASA they love putting on their revelation rituals as well. It's not as blatant as their space masonry coding, but so many revelation rituals with these people absolutely. And here we have it at ten twenty one very clearly. And I'm sure you guys are laughing right now at this number. Very big number. So many comments. That's why I really wish y'all could search my comments. But why would you ever have that feature from bullshit? You know who YouTube. They will never give you that type of access. It's retarded. Here it is 57 second video. 57 second video from the Scottish Rite Freemasons. Scottish Rite equals 57. So, you know, we have to have that in every single piece of bullshit propaganda with the space program. And Saturn 21. April 17th, 174, New World Order 174. When NASA astronauts Jessica Meir and Andrew Morgan return from their stay on the International Space Station on April 17th, they will be coming back to a very different Earth. And look at April 17th. That's also a lot like 4, 7, because the one acts like a lion. 4, 7, 47, 74. Really more so just 4, 7, because if you read it the other way, it's one, you know what I mean? When there's like a one in the middle, you see how, you see them do it again in the end. It's a way they're representing 47. I mean, come on, it's NASA, the space program, the Freemasons. When Mir and Morgan, Mir and Morgan, M's the 13th letter, 1 plus 3 is 4, 4 and 4, space 44, let me see what this, I know this is the part where you're like, damn, how do you just get that right away? I'm telling you guys, it is contrived propaganda. You have to have the pattern in your head and read the news. It's that simple. Space is the, 44 is the main number for the space program. The main number. I can say arguably, because, you know, you can see 17, 28, 17 is the most precise, but they put 44 all the time on all the space propaganda, as you see today, they did it with 44 numerology. So why is it, you know, look at the last names, Mir, Morgan, and then they, look, they do this here, they do this here. They didn't have to do this. This is what gives them the clues, is how they write their propaganda. When Mir and Morgan set off for the six and nine month stays, six and nine month stays respectively, 69, the number on the Masonic Arch, the first moon landing, or I guess the only moon landing, well, the non-moon landing that never happened, but you know what I'm saying, the main moon landing happened in time of cancer, which is, you know, ruled by the moon. And all that type of stuff. 69. I'm sorry I'm butchering this explanation, but I hope you understand why they're having 69 with the space program. The moon landing was, what, 1969? During the time of cancer. Which, their logo is the 69. 
But I think the better example is the Mir and Morgan. I think this is very, very good low hanging fruit. Their last names both are M. They're, and they let you know right there in that sentence. Real quick before I read this more, I'm gonna click on this female propaganda with the space. Just because <laughs> I was I wanted to look for number 42, female 42, but look what we get. 247. We get a number 47 inside some Freemasonic nonsense. I mean, come on, I'm just explaining 47, how it's important to Freemasons, how most of the compass is set at 47 degrees. Euclid's 47 problem is about establishing a foundation. Outer space equals 147, like Freemason. And here we have here, 247. I mean, come on. And then 1, 2, 3. The numbers for space and conspiracy and Mason are the main patterns. That's why I always say. Because conspiracy and Mason and outer space all have the same gematria, so it's just interchangeable. Conspiracy equals 123 minute 23 second video. I am very consistent with space propaganda. That is why I like exposing it. That, the state of Ohio, anything with black people, those things with very, very consistent patterns with small groups of numbers. And coronavirus, that's honestly been my favorite. Coronavirus, everything's been 56, 43, the whole time. One, two, one. That's all it's been for the main numbers. There's been some other numbers, of course. The astronaut class was the first to include 50 women and 50 men. Five, 55, that's another number. God, Satan, both equal 55. Number on the space program they put as well, just not as, I guess, not as significant as the other numbers they use. But look at this shit. Upcoming launches. Upcoming launches from the Scottish Rifle Masons. This is propaganda published yesterday, March 20th. Scottish 32, right? Scottish 32, March 20th, 3 slash 2 0. You drop the zero numerology. A new crew of astronauts will also launch to the space station on April 9th on 4 slash 9. Scottish equals 49 and 32. So good. Again, look at this. Look at this. Look at this shit. We're taking Scottish, right? The four reduction and then reverse in applicable order and then four reduction that way. So March 20th and April 9th. Think about it. Of all the dates for them to give us in this one piece of propaganda, bullshit space deception crap. Why do we get the very clear numbers for Scottish in these two dates right here? Why is this so easy to find? You know what I'm saying? That is what I'm trying to teach. How prolific these patterns are for these Scottish Rifle Basins in the space program. I do want to do the name Gamacha. I mean, I want to butcher the fuck out of this thing. Like, not in a bad way. Like, just go ham on this article. Because it's so coded. April 9th, 2020. Date with 17 life lesson number, space 17. See how that's also date with 33 numerology, masonry 33, big number for the Freemasons. See? I'm talking about 33 date numerology inside this bullshit. So I want to see what Oleg Skripochka, Skripochka, I mean Skripochka, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, but script, it's all scripted nonsense. With the 69. You know, new, name numerology, name gematria, you know, 228, United States of America, death 228. Uh, I don't, you know, last name equals 48, like Freemason. He also has the quarantine numbers in his last name. Scottish right 159. Just got to show you that real quick. And then, you know, Mir, Morgan, Morgan 32, Scottish, 94, 9 slash 4 is when the next thing is. See? See, we have that same pattern in Morgan. 9th of April, March 20th. Those are the two dates we saw in the propaganda. Morgan, one of the astronauts, their last name has the same pattern. For Mir, you know, let's see the double 27, ritual 27, 45, the sum of Saturday's magic square. And then something, someone asked me, you know, why do I do the name sometimes, the first name, the last name? So the way I thing is they code all the names, right? But these specific pat patterns are in these names and they might just be in the first and last name the last name see this is exactly what i'm saying to get the number for the scottish right jessica Meir gives you the 78 like scottish right and 111 that's not a scottish right number but this is 666 which is a very special number to nasa i think their full name equals 666 they do a lot of 666 rituals please check out free to find truth at blogspot.com just type in nasa 666 in the search box you see those riddles come up jessica Meir, 11178 and what do we have in earlier we had these numbers earlier with not Morgan, but the Oleg guy. Oleg, I'm just, I'm just going to show you this again. Just to show you it's the same numbers. It's the same numbers in all the propping in. Oleg Skripochka and then the Mir, Jessica Mir is the same exact thing. 
Let's let's look at this real quick. See, Skripochka, one 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 and forty eight. So it's six 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 and then forty eight. Why am I saying six 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 in the English Sumerian cipher? That's the alphabetical order times six. So you just use the English Sumerian cipher to see what these people are doing. So Skripochka, Skripochka, and I'm probably pronouncing it wrong even then. One 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 forty eight. Like Jessica Mir. Do you see how they're using the same numbers inside the rituals? That's literally what I'm trying to show you. You might be like, well, what's the significance of this? You're trying to ask way too many questions, which is very good to ask. You, you should know more about this, right? But if you're new to this, when you ask way too many questions at the beginning, you just confuse yourself and you just, then you don't get it. Why not just say, well, you know, this is interesting. They're using the same pattern and just two names of all the names to give us. And then on top of that, they're telling us about the first 48 hours. They, so they use the number 48 all throughout this bullshit piece of Freemasonic propaganda. And why? Because it's from the Freemasons. Freemason equals 48. It's a number they, they put all of the space program. Numbers for the Freemasons. Numbers for conspiracy. Numbers for space, which are all in the same, the same numbers. This is this might be a very long video. I feel like I've been talking for a while. Yeah, 21 minutes. Of course, we've got to talk about 2011, 211, 47 prime. That's that's no problem though. I feel like I've been talking the entire time. I haven't really slowed down. Look at the black and red colors in this Jesuit order propaganda with Disneyland or Disney World coronavirus. Disneyland, Disney World doesn't matter. They're both run by the you know who's. Coronavirus doesn't stop fam family from serenading grandmother. One three minute thirty seven video, and I guarantee you none of these people are going to get sick. All those people, there's some propaganda, some stupid r article. Some something they had about a bunch of spring breakers on a beach. They had a whole bunch of people on the beach, you know, making sure they're all together because they don't care. I guarantee you, know those people are getting, gonna get sick. Apart from just a normal sickness you'd get from being around all those people, sometimes. Family embraces social distancing to wish grandmother ninety five a happy birthday. Ninety five has been a big number in this as well. I wonder what happy birthday equals. I know birthday equals forty two, like Freemason. Birthday equals 48, like quarantine. They're talking about social distancing, quarantine, you know, birthday 48, like quarantine. But then, happy birthday. Happy birthday equals 63, 153 to 17th triangle number, 72. So, you know, nothing's popping out. But uh, it's because I think there's, it, there might be something incomplete. I mean, there could be a pattern with the 63, 72. Jesuit order equals 153 and 72. I mean, literally could be could be just the Jesuit order putting out some propaganda. Just branding the nonsense like they always do. It, it really could have just been that simple. Like, it doesn't have a, the direct connection to coronavirus. But again, this is... The Jesuit order's numbers are all over this. Coronavirus 56, Life Society of Jesus. We have this guy with the H right here, you know, the eighth letter, wearing the black and red. That could be very well be coincidental for this particular riddle. I'll, you know, I'll admit that. Especially because he's holding an H. And he, if he was holding a U, you know, U21, use the 21st letter, Jesuit equals 21. If that was the case for something like that, sure. Then I'll be like, okay, they're definitely doing something. So, yeah, leave it there. Look at these actors with these masks on in Italy, which equals 67. God, I don't want really to talk about Italy, man. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly so sick of hearing about Italy. Everyone's like, oh, Italy, Italy. Uh, it's like, you guys are retarded. Italy equals 67, like Wuhan. They're being used. If there's a virus, it was released there on purpose to get the people sick on purpose. You know, they're being targeted, obviously. Peace out.